So, friends now I have got the flexibility matrix of the ith element which is 1 by E i of 0.662 that is what V a is and V b is 0 0.451 down. So, minus 0 0.451 the first column. Now, I want to get the second column okay? that is a 2 1 a 1 2 and a 2 I should get this. So, to get this I should again do the same exercise by applying unit moment at the kth end. So, let us do that. So, this is by mean I want to apply unit moment anti clockwise here. Okay. So, the beam will deflect like this say this is my value which I am going to get this is going to be my delta k k of ith beam this is delta j k of ith beam. If you look carefully this was the second subscript is j because the unit moment was given at the j at the end with the same logic the second subscript will be k because unit moment is given at the k at the end. So, this is my j at the end this is my k at the end this is my i at beam. Okay. Now, I am interested in working out these values. So, what should I do? Again divide them into 10 strips. Okay. The moment here the moment here is 1 and here it is 0. So, it is going to vary linearly. I will divide this in 10 pieces. Ten pieces. Okay. Let us draw these lines. I can now find the average values at these middle of the strips as we did in the last case we can do this let us write down these values this is 0 0.95 this is 0 0.85 this is 0 0.75 0 0.65 0 0.55 Point four five, point three five, point two five, point one five, point zero five, and this is zero. Okay, so now we can now calculate. Similarly, what we have done here, we have done the m by e ordinate for all the ten strips. We can also do here the strip and m by e a ordinate. Okay. Let us say this is my first strip, okay. this is my first strip and this is my tenth strip. Okay. Let us do this. So, 10, 9, 8, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st strip. The 10 strips. Okay. So, let us talk about the first strip this value will be the same manner as we have done here. We have done the same manner. For example, I want to find this value. I can always say the moment divided by the corresponding i value. Okay. Similarly, here this value will be 0 0.882 by E i. I will leave this homework to you to calculate this. It is very simple to do it. 
0.684 by E i 0.527 by E i 0.401 by E i 0.293 by E i 0.217 by E i 0.15 by E i 0.096 by E i 0.052 by E i and 0 0.016 by E i. Okay. This is my first step. Okay. This is wrong. This is my first strip, this is my tenth strip. Tenth strip has got the maximum E i. Okay. Let us convert this into the m by E i diagram by plotting this. Let us do that. So, this will have 0 0.882, then this will have 0 0.684, then 0 0.527 then 0 0.401, then 293, 217, 15, 016, 052 and 016. This is 096. Let me be very clear. Let me write it again. This is 096 by A. Okay. So, this is my m by e i diagram which is the loading diagram for this beam. So, this becomes my beam and this becomes my loading diagram. For the beam I want to find now the reactions which is V B and which is V A. Okay. Now, to find V B take moment about C A so V B will be equal to 1 by 5 that is the span of the beam Point 0.5 is the width of the strip E i is common. Okay. So, let us start from this value 0 0.016 and that distance will be 0.25. Okay. The next one will have a distance from here which will be added with 0.5 and so on. Okay. So, this will be 0 0.016 into 0.25 plus. So, we got this Okay, let us then 0 0.052 into 0 0.75 plus 0 0.096 into 1.25 plus 0.15 into 1.75 plus 0.217 into 2.25 plus 0.293 into 2.75 plus 0.401 into 3.25 plus 0.527 into 3.75 plus 0 0.684 into 4.25 plus 0 0.882 into 4.75 which is very obvious this distance from here will be 0 0.25 therefore, this distance from here 
will be 4.75 which is checked here ok. This will give me V B as 1.210 by E i of the vertical value ok. Now, V A can be computed as 1 by E i of as usual pick up only the ordinates of this diagram 0 0.016, 0 0.052, 0 0.055, 0 0.055, 0 0.092, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Okay. Therefore, my flexibility matrix for the ith beam will be 1 by E i. We already have these data with us, these two with us, we borrow that again okay. 0 0.662 minus 0 0.45. Now, we have the new value A is 0 0.45 and this 1.21. So, minus 0 0.45 and 1.210. Now, my stiffness matrix for this ith beam, the flexibility matrix of this inverse, which will be E i by 0.599, that is I am doing matrix inversion by the conventional method. So, 1.210, 0.662. 0.450, 0 0.450, which will give me K as E i times of 2.02, 0 0.751, 0 0.751, 1.105. Okay. Now, friends, let us say I have a beam which is fixed at both the ends fixed at both the ends okay, and has got a varying cross section so the length of the beam is 5 meters e is the material property and i is already known to us you see here i is known to me 1.610 power 9 1.6 into 10 power 9 m m to the power 4. Okay. Now, let us mark the degrees let us say at this end I have theta p theta q delta r and delta s I neglect the axial deformation. Okay. I can now write the stiffness matrix readily by knowing the coefficients of these two, because now if you look at the stiffness matrix we can straight away say k will be actually equal to E i times of So, we already have this value with us let us borrow this and write it here I should say P Q R S yes, P Q R S yes, ok. So, 2.02.751 rotational coefficients 0.751 1.105. Once I know this, I can always find this value as sum of these two. Okay, let us say this is my, let us say this value will be sum of these two by L, which will be 2.02 plus 0.751 by 5, okay, which will be 
0.554 and this value will be minus of that. Okay. Similarly, this value will be sum of these two by 5 which will be which will be 0 0.751 plus 1.105 by 5 which comes to be 0 0.371 and this value is minus 0 0.371. Once I get this I can find this value as sum of these two by 5 that is 2.02 .02 plus 0 0.751 by 5 which will be 0 0.554 and this value will be 0 0.751 plus 1 1.105 by 5 which will be 0 0.371 okay. and this value will be sum of these two that is 0.554 plus 0.371 by 5 again which will be 0.185 and this will be minus 0.185. Of course, the last column is very simple it is actually negative of R column. So, minus 0.554 minus 0.371 minus 0.185 and 0.185 I get the stiffness matrix. So, friends in this lecture we learnt how to find the stiffness matrix for a beam element with varying E i. We actually marked the M by E i diagram as the loading diagram. M by A was formed by giving unit moment at j th and k th ends. So, I get flexibility coefficients. Okay. So, by the inverting the flexibility matrix I get stiffness matrix with rotational coefficients. Once I get that the full matrix can be derived by a simple algorithm shown in the screen. So, full stiffness matrix for varying E i with an example problem is now presented. I hope you have understood this and now we are very clear how to derive stiffness matrix for a beam element with constant E i and varying E i by neglecting axial deformation. Now, let us apply this concept to planar orthogonal structures in the next lecture and derive the unknown values of the structural system that is the moments, forces, shear forces, rotations and displacements depending upon the boundary condition and support condition of the problem. Thank you very much.